Hello my beautiful MK Love fam, welcome back to another episode. If you're brand new around here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I'm an international childhood trauma healer, helping you to break that cycle of abuse in your family and in your romantic relationships. So you can get to the stage where you can manifest the partner of your dreams. All right, my loves, this is episode four as a part of our seven part chakra series. If you miss the root chakra, the sacral, all the solar plexus, there is more for you in store so you can catch up either before or after this video. You just choose what feels truly best for you. Now, the heart chakra is located around the chest. It's an interesting one. It's the source of love, connection, and forgiveness. It identifies with the social aspects of your life. It's linked with the element of air and its biggest challenge comes with making peace with grief. So this is a really tough one. I'm a massive believer that love heals all blockages. It's, it's an interesting one. This is like not just love for you, but this is love for other people as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot involved, but let's just go straight to the chart. Have a look. Do you identify with deficient balance or excessive? So if you're deficient, you've been heartbroken. You have immense sadness. You lack empathy. You have trust issues, you withdraw from situations, or you have heart problems. It's also linked with breast problems as well. Um, if you're excessive, you could be jealous, codependent, self-sacrificing, you could be a people pleaser, you have so much anger and hate and aggression within yourself, and you're narcissistic. If you're balanced, then this means that you experience unconditional love for yourself and other people. You're compassionate, you're in healthy relationships, you practice forgiveness, you're trustworthy, and you're empathetic. Holy flip, did I just dump a lot on you right now? Oh my goodness. So if you're anything like me, you may have been, you've probably grown up in a environment in your childhood, which was not the best. The relationships that you saw modeled between your parents, your caregivers, your grown-ups at the time, whoever that was, may have been quite toxic. You may have seen people pleasing. One of your parents could have been a narcissist. They have could have lacked empathy and made some really fucked up decisions. I'm speaking from a place of experience. You then <laughs> could have manifested a narcissistic relationship where you basically bowed down to whatever they said. Whatever they said was right, you didn't have an opinion. They wouldn't listen to you. You tried to express yourself and sometimes you're more than not afraid to express your thoughts because you're worried of how that could skyrocket and or escalate is the word I'm looking for. How that could actually escalate and turn into something quite violent. Now, I grew up in a violent household. I also got involved with a narcissist for four years and I allowed somebody to treat me like a piece of shit. I was heartbroken for so long. I spent seven years on a healing journey after I got out of that relationship, trying to figure out who the fuck I was away from the family union. I got involved with a guy who was 14 years older, which screamed massive daddy issues. He was so broken and I was trying to like fix fix all these people, I wanted to fix them and make them beautiful again. Um, I'm just a born mother, like I just love nurturing people, but I was nurturing the wrong type of people. I was nurturing people that did not want to be helped. I was nurturing, I neglected to nurture myself first before I could have my cup filled up enough to help other people. And now that's what I do best. I heal beautiful women around the world. I help them to break that cycle of abuse in their family so that they never have to well, when they have children, they, their children don't need to recover from their childhood as adults. They attract a beautiful, high vibrational partner, which is the most amazing person in the whole wide world. Like my husband gets better by the day. This morning we woke up and I'm just looking at him and I'm like, God, you're so beautiful. Like, you're my husband. We've been married for like almost a year and a half. And every day I look at him, and I was like, shit, I did well. Like I, I'm so glad I was single for seven years and I really figured out who I was. And I'm so glad I became an energetic match to him. And I just, and I manifested him. Like I literally manifested him. Um, and to wake up every morning next to him and to be like, I went through a lot of pain to get to you, but it was worth it. 
you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything. All of my pain that I went through because it taught me so many valuable lessons. I wouldn't be the woman that I am now. I wouldn't have learned to forgive people who did not deserve to be forgiven, but I forgave them because it helped to heal my heart and just peeled more layers back of that forgiveness onion. And I was like, I love you, but I love me more, you know? And it's just, it's constant. And sometimes forgiveness looks like, um, and then I heard that song, you're forgiven, not forgotten, from the cause. Um, yeah, you're forgiven, not forgotten. And it's like when you're dealing with family members, especially narcissistic family members, people who lack empathy, have no boundaries, trust issues, maybe you're in a codependent relation with relationship with them, you could sometimes get to the point where you're like, I need to distance myself from you so I can heal. And yes, you can be in my life, but when it feels good. And it's so interesting. I've known people in my family who have had heart issues, literally have a broken heart, a bowel not working or not being connected. I can't remember exactly what the issue was. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Pain is interesting. When you experience pain and trauma, it manifests within your body on a cellular level. And it's like disease. Separate the word, dis-ease. You can ease the disease. How do you do it? Through the power of thought. I teach it exclusively in my coaching program. I just wanted to pop in today to give you the awareness of what to look for. What exactly is the heart chakra? What does it mean if you're deficient, balanced, or excessive? What does that look like in your life? To give you the awareness to be like, oh fuck, yes, I have a blocked heart chakra. It's interesting when I work with my clients or when I jump on the my new basically um, women's moon circle, each full moon, and I jump on it and I can feel other people's pain. And I have such deep empathy for them and I'm like, okay. Like I had a call this morning with a girl um, in Houston, Texas, baby. And she was, she jumped on the call and she started talking about an issue and I was like, oh, I can feel it. It went boom, boom, boom. Okay, no, it was throat, it was throat and heart. It's like, okay. Well, we need to heal the throat, we need to heal, what's that, the heart and then the throat, then we can unlock the throat, third eye chakra and then the crown. It's like, you're not gonna be able to be connected to your angels if there's blockages in your body because the energy can't be free. Um, there's so much involved with this. What else could I tell you? I think that's probably enough for now. Let me pull you some cards just to see what you need to focus on to heal this energy center right now. This is what can you do right now? To begin healing your heart chakra. See what the angels have. Woo! Ooh. Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying if you can enough for the living. Make it a better place for you and for me. Michael Jackson. Oh, that's such a beautiful song. I see that. I see the world in her belly. But this is interesting. This is the empress. This is the mama bear. This is protecting yourself, protecting your future children. This is you protecting yourself, but she's also the nurturing, kind, gentle mother. Maybe you have been so caught in your masculine energy and you're like, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. And you just like, just have that excessive that that hatred within yourself when you're pissed off with the people that hurt you but you need to take responsibility that you co-created that experience if you had known better there's no way you'd be caught up in that shit <sighs> what do i feel like this I feel pregnancy but pregnancy or could, or could be the birth of this new fabulous you there's so many ways you could read the empress in terms of getting to the empress you had the nine of wands which is a woman who does not give up um, I want to be free. Oh, guess what? Then we've got the emperor. The emperor is the masculine energy, which is your, oh, excuse me. This is making me burp. It's, you're not speaking up for yourself. You need to watch the next video. It's the heart is always linked to the throat. Well, they're all interconnected. Let's be real. But if there's problems with you not loving yourself and you lack uh, your, in codependent relationship, then it's usually a throat chakra blockage. You're not speaking up for yourself and being like, that is shit is not okay. So it's interesting with this one here, we got the man and the woman, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So this is a time you need to balance 
that within you? Are you too much of a pushover? Are you very timid? Or are you too aggressive and you using violence and caught in those situations? But your angels are saying, don't you dare give up. Do not give up. I am where I am and it's okay. How do you fix this? Not fix this because you don't need fixing. How can you heal this? How can you change things? Oh, I've got to be quick. I've got one minute left. Where well, you can do that, two ways. Join my women's moon circle or if you need intensive support you can work one-on-one -on -one with me in my coaching program it's an eight-week coaching program you choose what feels truly best for you oh my gosh have an amazing day wherever you're on the world i love you i love you i love you and i'll see you next week with the throat chakra bye